ratio is 13 to 1 so your normal class size is going to be anywhere from 15 to 28 people um, the smallest class I had when I was a student was four people and the biggest class was 28 in that Old Testament and New Testament core class so we're gonna walk around you can actually peek into one of our lecture halls here on the end and in another um, building I'm going to show you a student classroom you can fill out a roommate request form if you already know someone you want to room with if not you can fill out a little roommate questionnaire I always recommend being specific as possible so if you get up early if you sleep in if you want to stay out late all that good stuff um, we don't have a curfew I know Bob Jones and a few other Christian colleges do we do not now after midnight we do close the front two gates and the guard check is open but you just show them your resident ID and you can get on a campus um, our library does close at midnight. We don't stay open like through the night. Um, just another safety thing. Now, if you are ever on campus and you feel unsafe, we do have the blue lights everywhere. We also have a North Charleston police substation on campus. We have little allied forces, people riding around on golf carts. Um, and they give you the security phone number. So, like for girls, I don't know if guys do this, but girls, if you're walking back from the library late or you're walking from your car back into the building and you don't feel safe, um, you just call them. They'll come pick you up on the little golf cart. If you just don't want to walk from your car to the building, they will come pick you up on the golf cart. And so lots of options. Um, we definitely try to be as safe as possible. So any questions about security measures? Okay, great. Oh, she's working out. This is our chapel. Y'all can line up on the back wall if you want to. We do keep it a little old school. So it is the original build that it was when they first built it in 1964. We haven't changed anything. Mm -hmm. 
to the sunshine let me know and we'll move up there okay um we're gonna <laughs> so the bottom floor is gonna be for our graphic design courses um we have a mac lab down there we also really weirdly it's kind of like our national treasure have this giant vault that has like national documents in it and it only opens on like the 20th so yeah Okay, so again, one of our bigger lab classrooms on campus. First floor is biology, second floor is chem. Um, these, these labs always freak me out really bad, but these little men's organs pop out and you can study them. So like in your first year bio class, your professor's literally just gonna pop those organs out and lay them on the table and number them, and that is your exam. And you have to know what the names of them are, which is really gross, but also very interesting to learn. Um, kind of. But these buildings are open until 10.30 at night, so they are available for you to come study in. Um, and then if you do, if you wanna be here, but you're here by yourself and you feel unsafe, you can also call security, they'll unlock the doors for you and come sit in here with you as well. So you can always come in here and study. We try to make that available anytime. Yeah. So these are actually student-based researches. We have, they're published in books and science books. Four years. Scholarships are stacked. That's good. Those are 